So Finn, on a scale of one to ten, one being rubbish and ten being amazing, like the best ever, how would you rate these mountain Maltesers? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Hiking the Wainwright with me and with the young Phineas. Alright, so we're actually on walk nine. Can you believe it? Already in the eastern fells. And what I'm going to do today is go and hit that western prong of the Fairfield Horseshoe. Because as you know, I hate the Fairfield Horseshoe. I've done it so many times, I don't do it anymore. <laughs> so I'll split it up as, as you well know. Uh, so yeah, the idea is to go up to Stone Arthur and do a little bit of a circular route. So. Let's go and have a look at the route now. Okay, from the lay-by on the A591 at Grasmere, I've headed up to Greenhead Gill, and then out onto the open fell side, where the path zigzags its way up to Stone Arthur. First win right of the day. From there, it's a little bit of a trudge up to Great Rig, but the view should really open up now in all directions. Then it's a nice leisurely walk along that western ridge of the Fairfield Horseshoe, going past Heron Pike, and then all the way down to Nabsky, enjoying those views out to the west. From Nabscar, we're going to double back and head down towards Alcock Tarn. From here, it's not a long walk at all. Back down into the village and back down to the van. Right, so that is pretty much what we're doing today. Uh, not a massive walk at all, but should be pretty beautiful. Now, the last time I came up here, I did vlog it and it was a bit of a disaster in terms of views. Got to Top Stone Arthur, didn't see a flipping thing, so that was very disappointing. So today, should get some incredible views all the way along that western ridge which is brilliant because the sun's setting over that way i might end up getting some nice sunset action so let's get up uh, to stone arthur i'll catch up with you again a little bit further on uh, closer to stone arthur itself so let's go you drink lots of water that a girl All right, just a short walk beyond that beautiful tree we saw there. You start to swing back round now on this uh, spur that heads up towards Stone Arthur, which is just there. Not far, about 10, 15 minutes stroll up. And it's at this point now that we're heading alongside uh, Greenhead Gill, which will head right up towards um, Great Rig. And a minute ago you can't really see it now but you can see uh, Rowan Tree Gill there dropping down into Greenhead Gill and Grains Gill over that side there but like I say you can't really see it now because all this flipping bracken and Alcock Tarn is actually just over there um, a little bit more elevation and we'll be able to see that so yeah beautiful absolutely gorgeous look at it but look at Helm Crag I love it I just love the light at the moment and out towards Crinkle Crags. Flipping out, I've got loads of sun cream going into my eyes. But yeah, Crinkle Crags, just beside, behind Harrison Stickle there, you can see a huge tablecloth of cloud spilling down into the, the valley. Beautiful, so gorgeous. Right, I'm gonna keep on getting up to um, Stone Arthur, which is not far, like I said, 10 minutes and uh, hopefully it's not going to clag in <laughs> and we'll get that view that I missed last time so let's go Are you ready? Alrighty just getting up to the point where 
start to go up onto the rocky bit of Stone Arthur, which is Stone Arthur itself. And it's at this point now that we can really start to see all the views opening out. Old Cock Tarn is almost in full view. We can see bits of Windermere, bits of Coniston, obviously um, Grassmere down there. And a minute ago, I mean, I can see it from here, but you probably won't be able to see it on here. I can see Eastdale Tarn as well. I love this light, I really do. I've got high hopes for a dramatic sunset tonight. <laughs> It'll probably be dashed, because they always are. Right, here we are, on top of Stone Arthur. Well, not quite, almost on top of Stone Arthur. Let me just get up there. Woo. I think Alfred Wainwright lost the plot completely when he added this fell to his books. To me, this is not a fell. It's a little bump off the spur that runs down from Great Rig, part of the Fairfield Horseshoe. Definitely not worthy to be in a book, I don't think. I think he definitely lost the plot. Look at that view. Incredible, I think Alfred Wainwright was a genius for adding this to his books. <laughs> this is why he added it. Look at it. Let me show you what you can see. Despite me having reservations about it being included in his guidebooks, it is an outstanding little hill to stand on because the views are literally mind-blowing. Mind-blowing in all directions. But now it is time to head up to Great Rig, all the way up there. I've kind of timed it so I want to get there for about um, five o'clock, which is half an hour from now. I think that's unlikely. <laughs> Although I don't know, if I get my head down, could get up there. But it's looking nice now. Look, I love all that grey cloud there with the green. Grey and green are two colours that go very well together. I'm waffling. Let's get up to Great Rig. And at that point, it is just a saunter down to Nabscar. Happy days. So let's do it. A cute little shelter, isn't it, Finn? <laughs> it's a fin sized shelter. I must eat like the cookie monster. Look at the state of my beard. You know, today is a far cry from the last time I came up here and vlogged. All the way up, couldn't see a flipping thing. Couldn't see anything at Stone Arthur. I remember sitting up the top of Great Rig there for an hour and then it didn't lift. So I just had to give up and come down. Eventually it started to open up a little bit as I came down to Grisdale Town. What a difference today is. It's so nice, you know to be able to see stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like those clagged in days. They're, they're very atmospheric and bleak. Again, I like bleak. Bleak is beautiful. Maybe I should get a t-shirt. Bleak is beautiful. <laughs> so, get all this little lump here in a minute, then it's like a really long, grassy slope up. It's very much a get your head down, get stuck in, and try not to look at where you're going because it's too depressing uh, seeing how far you've got left to go, but it's not far. I mean, you can see the ridge there, look. I don't know what I'm mourning about. <sighs> I mourn a lot. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, 
as we head out onto the top of the ridge, you know, the actual ridge of the ridge, <laughs> the back of the ridge, we can start to see on the other side now, you see, and we couldn't see that a minute ago. So now we can see in the foreground there with a bit of sunlight on it, uh, seat sandal, and behind it in the cloud, not the cloud, the, the darkness, is uh, Nethermost Pike, Dolly Wagon Pike and Nethermost Pike. Can't quite see Striding Edge from here yet. It's a cute little herd of this one here, isn't it? Really cute. So as you can see, we're not far. I mean, great rigs there. About another 12 minutes walk. That's how long I've given myself. It's looking more atmospheric here. Little patches of light and cloud and what have you. Did I tell you how cute that herd is? <laughs> so cute. Uh, then it is out towards the west, but it's still looking very sunny. But I prefer this, I must admit. I prefer the, the darkness and the grey of the cloud. Okay, I've got 11 minutes now to get to the top of Great Rig. That's pushing it. Let's go. Okay, this is the grassy trot of doom that I was talking about. Head down, push on. the grassy trot of doom complete and we're just getting up to this pile of stones here now which marks the bottom rocky bit of Great Rig which is the highest point of today meaning that from now on it's gonna be all downhill <sighs> look at this light oh honestly let's just have a look at this that's looking out towards the eastern uh, ridge of the horseshoe. Gorgeous. Uh, Dove Crag, Hart Crag, Heron Pike and then Napska and Fairfield is further up here. Not a soul around. Let's have a look. Ten past five, so ten minutes later than I thought it was going to be. Still not bad though. Here we are at the summit of Great Rig. Just this pile of stones here, basically. I would imagine actually this is probably the summit, this bit here. Slightly higher than this pile of stones. I don't know why the stones are put there. Feels odd not going on to Fairfield, I must admit. It does feel very odd to not be carrying on and carrying on right round, but that's okay because we're gonna head down that way now, back down this western ridge. Uh, which you can see, and you can also see a little bit of um, Alcock Town there as well. You see a little bit of Elter Water in the distance there. Lots of Coniston, loads of Windermere, even a bit of Estherwaite there. And way beyond, you can actually see Morecambe Bay. And here, which is fantastic, you can see Dolly Wagon Pike, Nethermost Pike, Helvellyn. You can see Striding Edge very clearly, and that almost like dorsal fin shape is Catsty Cam on the other side, uh, coming down from Swirrel Edge. I'm really liking Ambleside at the moment. The light on the village is gorgeous. Look at her, look, she's just chilling in the grass. Come on, Finn, let's go. <laughs> she's a good dog. There's some gorgeous light around today. I don't know if it's picking it up on this camera, but the crepuscular rays there. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You know, that's the beauty of hazy days. Hazy days, you know, they, they can be a bit rubbish for photographs, but that's when you get your crepuscular rays. That's when you get your magical light. I'm, I do apologise, I do feel very random at the moment, and this is what it's like when the light is kicking off. I do get very random. I don't know where to look and where to point the camera. <laughs> Everything kind of goes out the window, really trying to make a decent video. These videos really are about sharing the Wainwrights with you and showing you the type of views that you can get if you've never done it before, showing you what you can see when you're here and reminding you of the things that you saw when you've done it, if you have done it. So it is all about the views. So you can see down there towards Stone Arthur, that's the way we came up. Now heading down this very broad western ridge.
Api. That light out towards Eastdale Tarn now is just looking amazing. In fact, that light out there looking out towards uh, where we're we looking, Dove Crag. Little patches like that, they really excite me. I know it sounds weird. I know I'm a really weird person, but I just love that. And the colours as well. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's just be careful here. Whew. I mean, I could have gone around that puddle. Is that nice? <laughs> right, here we are. Just getting up onto Heron Pike now. Not a lot to say about Heron Pike. It has to be said, I think I didn't say a lot last time. It's pretty boring. <laughs> it's just a lump along this amazing ridge so yeah however the flipping views in every direction we see Fairfield behind and now looking out towards Ambleside there it's looking pretty good but the start of the shore it's got to be out towards uh, the start of the shore is fin of course uh, the start of the shore is out towards Langdale Pike it's kicking off big time over there in terms of the clouds and the light. Absolutely beautiful. Just approaching the bit where the path branches off and heads down towards Old Cock Tarn. That's the path that I'm going to take a little bit later. Here it is here, just branching off. Okay. There's a little there's a, a little cairn down there, pile of stones, and you can sort of see the trod going off in that direction there. It's only a few hundred metres down there to Old Cock Tarn. However, I think it'd be a big mistake if you were to uh, come to this point and just go straight down there without going to Nabskar because it's only a, a, a few hundred meters that way but believe me it is a treat and you've been missing out on a fantastic place uh, with some incredible views down onto Rydal and you can see Rydal Cave and, and all sorts so yes for the sake of a few hundred meters it's worth it. If you're wondering, by the way, why I've got my hat like this, you know, backwards like a cool kid, <laughs> it's uh, it's not to be cool. It is basically, well, first of all, it's to protect my neck from the sun and obviously my head from the sun because there's not a lot of hair on it. But also, mainly, uh, not having it forward so I can get my camera up to the eye. When you have a cap, you know, you peek the cap forward, you just can't really get your camera up to your face to, to take photographs and and do the other video as well so that is the reason why I know I look like a saddle <laughs> okay almost there now actually and um, the lights are rubbish which is just typical it hasn't got rubbish it's just less drama than there was before but that could change so I'm not too worried that bit there so you can see the wall to the left of it and down a bit that's where I'm gonna go and sit for a little bit Don't worry, flipping heck. But light has gone a bit flat. That all the light now is over on the other side of the horseshoe, typically, and down into Ambleside. That's 
looking nice though, look. That is looking very nice. So all the light, oh, that's looking really nice down there as well. <laughs> Just a single tree illuminated. So all the light that was over there before is gone. Well, not all of it, but most of it. It's definitely not as good as it was. I'm still being watched. <laughs> but if you go down here, um, first of all, we'll drop out of the window, which would be great. And this is the bit I normally come to. Unfortunately, it is used as a toilet quite a lot, which is a real shame. But here, you can get quite a bit of shelter and you get this view. There you go, look at that. That's Rydal, right there. Grasmere over there. Grasmere, as the locals call it. You can see now, Tiger Bliss go, and you've got wet side edge that leads up to great cars. And between those things, well, basically between them is Rhino's Pass. But the mountain you can see in between those is Hartefell in Estill. And it's a great view from here. It's one of the only places you can see it like that. It's great. Okay, I'm talking rubbish. Right, I'm going to have a Mars bar and then I'm going to get some fodder for this wee one. Okay, Finn and I have made a executive decision. Well, Finn has, I'm just a lackey. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Alcock Tarn now, because it has, like I said, it's gone a bit flat. There's some nice light around, but I think it'd be nice to get over to Tarn and maybe see if um, that flipping sheep's still staring. <laughs> you won't be seeing any of it, it's way over there, just watching. Anyway. Um, it might be nice at the town. It might all kick off by the time we get there. You just never know. Let's get back to that bit where it forks off and head down to the town. This light is looking incredible now on Luffrig there, but Helm Crag, wow, look at it, beautiful. It's a nice little steady walk down here, not a bad path at all, but looking out towards the Furnace Fells, they're starting to light up now for the first time all day actually, I've not seen any sunlight on them at all. So you can see this northern side of Weatherlam. It's got a little bit of sun in it. That thing is, you, you just don't know what's going to happen. It, earlier on it looked like it was going to go really bad and flat and grey and horrible. And now it's the, the clouds are starting to part a little bit. There's bigger gaps. And you're getting this really beautiful soft light uh, dappling the ground. Wait, wait. All right, here we are at Alcock Tarn. Look at that view, <laughs> the whole view, crepuscular rays, the water, the reeds, everything. Everything about that is just flipping mind-blowingly gorgeous, isn't it? I need to decide what to do. I think I might just stand here and just watch, to be honest with you, just look at it. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'm going to head over to that lump over there, so through the wall, uh, and I'm going to go onto that little bit that sticks out, hopefully get a, a bit more of a opened up view. Um, oh sorry, are we uh, holding you up? <laughs> come on, you can come past if you want. Kiddies. Come on, you come with us, come on. Come <laughs> <laughs> Didn't sound good, did it? You need some tunes. 
Oh, this little lamb's down here. A lot of great spots around here for shots, to be honest with you. Loads of little outcrops of rock and everything you can go and stand on uh, to take shots. Look at this, look at this light. This light is crazy. Honestly, I can't hear myself think around here. It's getting so noisy. <laughs> this guy's still waiting though. So there's these two here, and there's this one here. I say guy, it's a, a gal, obviously. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over. I, I feel like I'm stressing them out, so I'm going to give them a break. <laughs> and I'm going to get on the other side of the town, like I said, up onto that big lump there. That's it. <laughs> it's a good job you're not a fat dog, isn't it? Stone Arthur. <laughs> that same kind of feel to it. Look at the light. Oh, this is crazy. Crazy. Look at it down there. So, typically, as soon as I get onto this lump to take some photographs and maybe do some more video, maybe a little bit of time lapse, where's the light gone? <laughs> it's completely gone. And it's looking pretty thick, the cloud, actually, out to the west. I don't know. I mean, there's little little bits of light here and there. That's looking really nice up there, look. But besides that, yeah, not a lot left. That's a real shame. A real shame. So, let's get on down to Buttercrag and, um, yeah, let's see what we can see. Okay, I think we've been followed because I'm sure that's the one that we... <laughs> you saw that, didn't you? Wow, it's a kind of jumpy one, isn't it? Like a little lamb. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that one definitely gets the prize for the strangest sheep ever. That was a very bizarre overreaction to that savage creature. <laughs> Weird. Overreaction. Look at this. Okay, so this bit here with the light on it, looking really, really gorgeous now, is Butter Crag. Some interesting looking light, some interesting looking sheep action going on up there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a ewe and a lamb on that rock. Lovely, lovely spot. Also, by the way, if you've enjoyed the walk, please uh, hit that like button. It's very much appreciated. It helps a lot, thank you. There's not a great deal left to do actually, it's just this really steep path heading down through the bracken, very much like it was earlier on.
Get out of the way. Oh, you <laughs> Oh, well, that really hurt. Hey, Hurdy. Okay, that was weird. <laughs>